Good day, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Please ping anybody that you know needs to be in here. Super excited. Yesterday was real rough. Afterwards. Um, but made it through. How are you guys? How is everybody? Yesterday... Um, was one of those final, final attempts. Uh, started off super rough today. He was trying me extra hard. That was my yesterday, but not early. It was after us. Um, yeah, I, I noticed that very, um, I mean, just nonstop, just bombarding, just like I was a a, a, a target, a little, little target that you shoot. It was just boom, 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 left and right, left and right. Um, good now. It took me eight charges before I tightened up. Abs yeah, I did my thing too. Um, mine actually was a lot longer. Um, I had random people throughout my life call me and I knew then what was happening. I had people I hadn't spoken to in months reach out, um, saying, Hey, how you doing? I was just like, normally I'd be like, I'm good. You know, rough patch, blah, blah, blah. But nope. Guy said, tell him. And I was, I was very, uh, forthcoming. And they all gave me nuggets to get out of it because it was it was the ultimate, okay, the ultimate attack. And um, it's been tough, but moving forward, yeah, it, it's because we're there. So the message I have for today is we are right there. Um, and I knew that. I knew that when, let's see, where are my notes? I knew that when um, when it happened. I was like, yeah, you are definitely showing me we're done. Um, I've been here before. I've been in this place. I know, okay? Um, what I have is we needed to straighten and strengthen our wings. Many of us busted out of our cocoon as butterflies, right? Um and as you do that, you got to learn to fly. So if you've ever studied, which we all have studied it a long time ago, maybe go back and read it, listen to it. Um, what it is, is you had to learn to strengthen your wings. You've never had wings. Catch that. You've never had wings, okay? What I mean by that is the fight that you had to do to get out of the cocoon. You're now out, but you don't, you were crawling. You haven't looked in the mirror to see the new you. You haven't looked in the mirror to experience the new you. Your face is different. Your structure has changed. When a caterpillar goes from a caterpillar crawling on the ground stuck to the ground, probably don't even know that there is a up, to now flying, imagine that transformation. Imagine how hard and how shocked and how dumbfounded they are. Just think about that. I want you to think about that for a moment. That's where we were in the past couple of weeks, and he revealed that to me. We had to strengthen our wings. And I want you to just take a deep breath in that and own that because that's serious. Think about the strengthening of something you didn't even know you had. The strengthening of faith, the strengthening of a of strength, the strengthening of belief, the strengthening of knowing, the strengthening of whatever that's new, right? We are out of the cocoon, but I've been struggling to adapt. I had an opportunity, an amazing opportunity land in my lap. And when I tell you, I got attacked like never before. Ooh, that's bright. When I tell you I got it, I was in the midst of the enemy attacking me while God trying to redirect me. That's never happened. I always know when it's God opposing, don't go that way, redirecting, course correcting, or the enemy just trying to block, delay, deny, hinder. I had both. And one 
two, three, four people, every person that I talked to or tried to help me physically got injured, you guys. Physically felt something. Physically encountered something, okay? To the point where I stopped and said, okay, God, I'm the common denominator. What's going on? What is happening? And it wasn't the bad part of it. It was the enemy pulling out that level of stoppage, that level of warfare to not allow me to proceed. And I pressed. This was all last week. And I pressed. That was me learning to flap my wings. What happened last week? I want to say from Saturday last week. So that would have been, let me get the dates for you. That would have been the 30th. No, 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 no. Where are we? We're on the 3rd of August already. Good Lord. That would have been the 22nd of July until the 31st. I want you to just take a moment of think of think of what happened. And I want you to realize that that moment, those scenarios, those situations were God helping you um, learn to flap your wings that you didn't know you had. Learn to um, fly. Learn to look at the world from a different point of view. Shifting your viewpoint, your vantage point. Shifting you totally. That's what I want you to see. Okay. Now, now that you have that, I want you to understand that you're now going to start exploring and experiencing this new you. Butterflies can fly. They can go really, really high. They can now go up a tree. I'm, I'm using this metaphor to the T like this because I want you to understand what you now have at your fingertips how expansive you have become, but you got to explore it. And you can't be afraid to explore that. You cannot be afraid. I'm going to say it again. You cannot be afraid to explore that. What does that look like? That is you experimenting with your power, your authority, your words. You know what? I want to see if I can make it the sun stand still. I, going to the word and finding what they did. You know what I did yesterday? Because I was sick and tired of these witches and warlocks just having their way. And I said, you know what? I'm going to call down the fire that El I'm going to call down from heaven, from your altar, the fire that Elijah called down to burn up the false prophets of Baal that are coming against me, my marriage, my finances, and everything else. And I said, I'm going to do something I've never done. I've never taken communion outside my front door. I've taken it in the house, all over the house. I've never done that. I pray every night at my garage driveway, the end of it. So that's normal. But I did that. Dispatch the angels, the, the, chair, the chariots of fire angels at the bottom of my garage. I stood at my front door with all my elements and took communion. And then I, I laced my bed with the fire of God in my bedroom so that they could not infiltrate because it was the last full moon and I'd be dinged if they come into my house. And last night was totally different. That was new for me. I've never done that. This is what I'm asking of you. Experiment with the scriptures. He will correct you. Don't be afraid to go and say, I'm going to put my, I don't remember, correct me if I'm wrong. The Jordan, when he had to cross the Jordan, I don't know if he had to put something in the water or if he just stood there and God parted it. But Moses had a staff. If you have a staff, if he's given you something, but it has to be what he's given you the authority over. I'm element fire. If you've been with me, you should know your element by now. If you've been with me at least. Maria, do you know your element? As long as Maria's been with us, I believe I've been talking about it. If not longer, since 2021. Um, 
I help you to understand your element, what you are, because every Edemic, Elijah, um, Aaronic, all of those lineages, they have power over a certain element. Clearly, Elijah's fire. Clearly, Moses is water. You see what I'm saying? Um, yes, water. And yes, so she, yeah. So she's been since last year, maybe February. So if you've been in and out with me, if you're fairly new, I have not talked about that this year. But 2021, tw all of 22, definitely I helped you guys, especially in the community, to understand who you are and your elemental gifts. God shows you. Okay, so I know I'm fire and I'm water. Sometimes you're more than one, but you have a dominant one. It's a gift. We all have it. You just got to tap into it. So when I heard that, I was just like, oh, bet I'm about to try that. I ain't never tried that. Everything they gave me yesterday was all brand new. I ain't never done none of that. She's like, you've never taken communion in front of your door? I'm like, no. I mean, Passover or, yeah, Passover, Pentecost type. I put the little cross and but I still wouldn't take communion. I said, about to try it though. I'm ready to try anything to get these jokers off my back. Yes, it's a new season, so it's new things that you got to do. That's what I want you guys to do. If you're following me, please drop a heart in the chat because I want you guys to understand we're not just experimenting on crazy things. We're taking the things from the word that God did and we're going to attach it to our lives. If the Holy Spirit is giving you something right now, that's what you use. If you go find something, Esther, three days, maybe you need to fast or, you know, whatever, whatever's falling in your spirit, that's what you do. And that's going to build more faith like, oh, OK, you best believe I will be using that fire on everything from now on. Yes, indeed. And I will be taking communion. I will now add to my nightly ritual before I finish watering my grass. I go to I walk to the edge of my garage and I literally walk it. Neighbors outside and all. They don't ever ask what I'm doing. Little girl cross street be looking at me. I don't care. I literally walk one foot in front of the other in front at the base of my driveway to the road. And I dispatch ancient angels, chariots of fiery angels, seraphim angels, whatever demonic entity is trying to enter my house. You can't come past here. Not my door because that's too close. I need you at the foot at the bottom of my driveway. You can't come close. OK, these are things I want you guys to start doing that way. You guys can see your power, own your power, understand that you have infinite power, but you're only going to know that if you start experimenting and exploring, okay? Because that's the new you. That's one thing. It's time to get out of fight mode. And that was me. I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. Look, I fight for my kids. I fight in school. Not not physically fist fight, but you know what I mean. I'm going up there and I'm going to fight. I'm going to go and do what I got to do. Um, and I'm not rude with it. I'm very nice. I'm not that type of person. Just like I am here, I'm very calm. But it's a fight in me. There's a, oh, okay, here comes Savion's mom. Okay, here comes so-and-so's mom. Let me, let me chill. Let me make sure I got my ducks in a row because she's going to ask me to pull out the handbook. That's my fight. Like most parents don't do that. One of the principals last year said, thank you for... um forcing me to pull out my handbook and revising that, revisiting that. Yeah, because I'm going to show you. I have the handbook and I know what it says. So that's my fight. Um, he says, I need you to get out of fight mode. No longer fighting to get what you want. I know me and Maria are very similar with that. And maybe even you, Gabriel or Levon, I don't know. But I know Maria and I, we've definitely agreed. Like, we're going to fight. I'm going to fight. Um, and I'm going to fight for what's mine. I'm going to fight for you too. <laughs> I'm going to fight for everybody. I don't care. Um, all you got to do is call me, let me know, and I'm there. I'm ready. But God says, not this season. Put the fight down. I will defend you. And that's a whole new learning thing. That's a whole new learner. I'm going I'm to tell you right now, I've been here before. I've had to learn to not fight. That means shut up. That means sit down. And that means be quiet. And that means watch him work. And sometimes it's going to take him a couple of months to fight for you. Sometimes it's going to take him a week. Sometimes it's going to take you. Um, I'm picking a fight with everything. <laughs> sometimes it's going to take a while. You know what I mean? 
And that's going to bring up your patience, but we're working on unconditional patience, right? So like I said, time to get out of the fight. No longer fighting to get what you want, but you got to choose that. You have to choose that this is the time that things are going to be easy. This is the time that I'm going to walk in balance. If someone wrongs me, God's going to correct it. This is the time that it gets to be easy. This is the time that things flow easy for me. I stand in the emotions of success and ease. I step into the anointing of ease. Okay? Those are the things that I want you to write, write down. Um, we're going to write. I'm not going to be here for long. We're going to write. And I want you to write these. I'm not going to give a number. I'm just going to set time, put some music on, and I want you to write them. Um, because, and, and then I want you to make them affirmations for you. Okay? So if you have your pen and paper, let's go. I've got the music. I'll say them. Let's do three times each. Turn it down just a little bit. All right. So the first one is, let's see which one. I choose to step. Let me write that because he's giving it to me. I choose to step in to the anointing of ease i choose to step into the anointing of ease i want you to write that three times drop a one when you're done i choose to step into the anointing of ease yep i choose to step into the anointing of ease write that three times and drop a one when you're done All right. I choose to stand in the emotions of success and ease. I choose to stand in the emotions of success and ease. I choose to stand in the emotions of e success and ease. Yep, perfect. Thank you much, sir. Three times. All right, and the last one, this time, it gets to be easy for me. This time, it gets to be easy for me. I know all of us have friends where things just flow. They don't have to fight for nothing. They say, I want a job, they get a job. They say, I want a promotion, they get a promotion. We all have that. That's your life now. But you have to choose that. And whenever the enemy tries to show you it's not, uh-uh, I chose easy. What's this, God? I don't accept this. I reject this. This ain't, no, no, no. This is not what I asked for. Just straight up, I choose, or this time it gets to be easy. This time it gets to be easy three times. This time it gets to be easy. And that should be heavy. You should feel that one. That that You should feel those words. It should penetrate you. Because it's been rough. We've all been fighting. 
We've been fighting for our lives. We've been fighting to survive all of our lives. And it finally has gotten easy. And he's about to show us just how easy it can get. That could be another one. God, show us just how easy. There we go. God, yeah, you felt it, right? I feel it myself. God, show me just how easy it's going to get. Yep, there's another one. Show me just how easy it's going to get. And that one was just birth just now because that wasn't on my list. Yeah, that one, that one was pretty heavy. That one, I felt it. I felt that shift. Yep. But it's here. And it's ours. So let's go ahead and walk in it. Whenever the enemy tries to show you that it's not. God, show me how good it's going to get. God, show me how good it can get. Or this time it gets to be easy. Just how easy it's going to get. Yep. Just how easy it's going to get. So, all right, you guys. That is it for today. We did our writing prompts. You now have your new... So whenever you are prompted or propositioned, or like I said, people just act in a plum fool for whatever reason because they want us to react, don't react. Because it's easy and God got you. God's fighting. God's fighting for us. God's fighting for me. God's fighting for you. You're not doing it no more. We don't have to do it anymore. Okay, hear me. You don't have to fight any more. God is doing it for us. But you got to believe that. And you got to be patient when he says, I got it. Wait for me. That's going to, I'm telling you now, that's going to be the only possible setback is having to wait on him to do it and change it. But we're working on unconditional love in the off ass. Because trust me, we're going to eradicate that. We're going to, I mean, well, unconditional love and unconditional patience. Okay. We're working on all the unconditionals that I said. Patience. Understanding. All of it. We're working on all of it. So just know that as we walk in that, it's going to make, when we come out of the off ass, it's going to be time to walk in an unconditional patience because that's what we're working on crazy enough. So those of you who are joining, get ready because that's what we're going to get. Okay. That's exactly what we're getting. God is going to help us be able to wait on him to defend us. And that's what you need because if you can wait on him to defend you, oh my God, because that's where I am right now. I'm walking this out and I'm going to teach you guys in the office how to do it. How to walk in an unconditional, unconditional patience because God said, I got this by my hand and I had to wait. And it's been since May. But when I tell you it's been worth it and I would never, ever, if I had to do it again, I would choose it again. I would wait because the way he's handling it, I could have never, I could have never. Okay. So. Our, be, our inner, I like that. Our inner values are being fortified. I like that. Yep. So does anybody have anything they want to add? Anybody want to ask any questions? All right. So again, um, the all fast is starting on August 18th. And we are going all the way to October 6th. Um, if you already signed up and registered, um, you guys will be let in. I'm going to try to let you guys in today, but there's been a lot of warfare. So just give me some time. It's all set up, but it's just been, yeah, that, all of that. Can't even send you guys a link via um, email because it's been crazy. I had to literally text people, find people <laughs> on Instagram. So 
definitely. Um, but if you guys have any questions or anybody um, has anything about joining, I know I had to extend it because it wasn't just one or two. It was a good amount of people that were just like, can we extend it till Friday? So it's extended till Friday. If you are still interested, it's extended for a reason. So if you're ready, let's go. I'm telling you, this one's different. I've elevated, so I know it's about to be off the chain. All of you are ready that signed up because you only sign up if you're ready for change. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be a little different. I can see it. I can feel it. So you guys get ready. Let me post the link. Like I said, if you've already registered, uh, register means you've already paid and you've already, um, you said yes first and then you paid, registered, you got a link to register. You will be allowed in the today, God willing, God willing. <laughs> got to keep saying that, God have your way. Um, if not, then um, it'll be as soon as I can get it, you'll get the link and then you'll be able to come in. If you are, are not on the wait list, um, I'm going to post the link up one more time. If you haven't received the invitation, anybody on the replay, the link is there. Um, again, questions, comments, you can reach out to me and we'll go from there. If you reached out to the executive dot assistant and said yes, her email is acting crazy. When I tell you the office always does this, that's why we have backups. If you reached out to executive dot assistant, you can also reach out to me just so that we have a backup. I don't want anyone to fall through the cracks. Um, cause I know some people said they reached out and I was like, I didn't get nothing from her. And she's like, I don't have, uh, let me check. So if you are one who reached out executive dot assistant, please text me on Instagram that you reached out so that I can let her know the names that she should be looking for because yeah, the warfare is insane. Okay. All right. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you for joining me. Uh, keep shifting, keep disrupting. Um, this is an amazing time. As, as crazy as it's been, this is an amazing time. It's an awesome time. And I'm excited because I know what's transpiring as soon as August 18th comes. So have an amazing day. Bye.